Hello everyone, this is Balu. Welcome to my channel, Civil Tech. Here, this is the update regarding the CCMP 2024 counseling. Here, you can see they have released the counseling schedule 2024. Okay. I already downloaded this PDF and I am going to show this PDF. Here, you can see this is the schedule of the CCMP 2024. And this online registration is going to start from the 24th May 2024. Okay. And after that, it is going to end on 7th June 2024. Okay. First, we have to whatever the registration details you have to fill, and after that, you have to pay the registration fees so that you can enroll into the CCMT 2024. And after that, here you can see this is the online registration fee payment for the CCMT 2024, and this is also same as the 7th June 2024. You have to register and also you have to pay the amount for. And it is depends on the category. I have already shown the amount of registration for general EWS and other candidates. It is three thousand five hundred, and for SCST PW candidates, it is three thousand rupees. Okay. And also here other details you can see last date for resolution of issues, if any, it is tenth June, and online choice filling. Okay. Whatever the required choice you are going to fill, it may be any NIT any, and any course. And it is 10th June. Before 10th June, you have to fill the online choice. And if you fill that online choices and left that portal like that, and it is going to automatically locked before 10th June. Okay. On 10th June, it is automatically going to be locked. Whatever the choice you are going to fill, it should be locked. So please ensure that you are going to fill the online choices before the 10th June 2024. Okay. And this is the one of the important notes. Please keep in mind. And after that, that uh, round one seat allotment will be released on 12th June. That is round one results. And after that, if you get any seat, okay, this is one of the important points. Many of the people will confuse whether can I participate in the CCMT 2024 without paying the seat acceptance fee. The thing is, if you get seat in any college, then you have to definitely pay the seat acceptance fee to participate in the further rounds. For example, if you don't get seat in any college, then you don't have to pay the seat acceptance fee. Okay, this is the thing. You have to keep in mind if you get seat and if you are interested in joining the MTech and if you want to participate in the uh, subsequent rounds, then automatically you have to pay the seat acceptance fee. And it depends on the category and it is clearly given in the registration fee that page in the information brochure. I will show you. Don't worry about that. Okay. And this seat acceptance fee last date is before 18th June. You have to fill, and it is so going to open in to, on 12th June only. And for that, online document verification by officers will be done. And based on that, whatever the documents you are going to upload, they will check. And if there is any discrepancies, they are going to raise those discrepancy, and you have to clear the discrepancy within the allotted time. Otherwise, your seat will be cancelled. Please ensure that you are going to upload the documents which are genuine and they are going to easily verify them and they can allot the seat for you. Okay. And the deadline also given here. And after that, round two results will be declared on the 24th June. Similarly, the same procedure is going to follow till the round three. And after that, finally, you are going to participate in the Special rounds after completion of three normal rounds. Okay. This is regarding the schedule. Hope you understand the whatever the procedure. First, you have to register in the CCMP 2024 web portal and you have to pay the registration fee. And after that, you are going to fill the online choices and thereafter. The choices, whatever you have filled, it is going to be locked and the round one results are going to be out. If you get seat, then you have to pay the seat acceptance fee to participate in the further rounds. And if you are not going to pay that seat acceptance fee, then automatically your seat will be cancelled. Please keep this in mind. And if you don't get the seat, then you don't have to pay the seat acceptance fee until you get the seat. Okay. This thing you have to keep in mind. Next thing. Here you can see the registration fee. It is clearly visible and I already explained about this registration fee. And once again, I will show you here. Here you can see 3500 and 3000 for registration fee. 
And after that, the seat acceptance fee, whatever I have said just now, 30,000 for general or general EWS OBC candidates and 10,000 for SCST PWD candidates. And after that, here you can see partial admission fee. Okay. If you got seat and you are going to participate until third round, that is normal rounds, then automatically after seat acceptance fee, then you have to pay the partial admission fee also. Okay. Total, for example, if you take general or EWS or the OBC candidates, 30,000 plus 10,000. Until if you participate till the third round and you are interested to get that MTEC seat, then you have to pay this amount on step by step. For first, you have to pay the seat acceptance fee, that is 30,000 rupees. Next, after 10,000 rupees for partial admission fee. Then, if you are going to freeze your seat, then after completion or at the end of the completion of the CCMA 2024 counseling, that first semester college fee, you have to pay total amounts. Okay, at the end of the round. Please keep this in mind, whatever the college you are going to get and whatever the course you are going to get, and those fees details are visible in the CCMT 2024 web portal or also you can check it in the college website also. They will give the whatever the fee structure of their college. And until the end of this counseling, you have to fill the total fees for the whatever the first semester fees in the college in the web portal of the CCMT only. Okay. And also, if you are participating from the normal rounds to the special rounds, are that is, you are continuing from the normal rounds to the special round, then you have to pay this registration fee. For example, if you are directly participating in the special round without participating in the normal rounds, then automatically you have to pay this amount. Okay? Please keep this in mind. Don't think I can pay this 3000 or 3500 and I will register in the special round directly. No, it is not possible. You have to pay the special round participation fee directly if you have participating in the special round. National spot round also it is given. After uh, completion of special rounds, they are going to keep this part round also. Any if any seats are vacant. Okay. And after getting that uh, whatever the seat you are get through the normal rounds, it may be normal round one, two, three. You have the options like freeze, float, and select. If you don't have any idea regarding this freeze, float or slide, I have made a dedicated video for explanation regarding this freeze, float and slide and that video link is in the description. Please go through that link, then your whatever the doubts you have, all will be cleared regarding this freeze, float and slide. This is also one of the important points, this eligibility requirements. Many of the people are asking, sir, I got a 6 GPA or 6.5 GPA can eligible for this uh, CCMT 2024 counseling. See, here it is clearly given. You should have GATE score or GATE of 2022-23-24 year. It may be of any year. If you are having 2021 GATE score, you are not eligible. Okay? And coming to this point, see, you should have at least 6.5 CGPA or 60% for this category and also 6 GPA or 55% in case of this category, that is SCST PWD and here general general PWS OBC candidates. That means if you are, for example, a candidate is having 55% of marks, that means in their whatever the degree certificate, they have mentioned 55%, not in CGPA, they have mentioned in percentage. Can I convert this 55% to CGPA so that I can get 6.5 CGPA so that I, I will be eligible to the CCMT 2024. No, it is not possible. Whatever the degree certificate you have holding, that means it is in percentage or CGPA. If it is in percentage, then it should be greater than or equal to 60 percentage. If it is in CGPA, then it should be greater than or equal to 6 percentage. That's it. You are not allowed to convert from CGPA to percentage or percentage to CGPA. Here it is clearly given. Conversion from CGPA to percentage or percentage to CGPA is not at all allowed, will not be allowed. See, for example, if your CGPA is on a different scale, 
mostly all universities or colleges will give that CEP on 10 points. If it is other than 10 point scale, then it will be linearly mapped to 10 point scale. Then you have to tally with whether you are getting 6.5 GPA or 6 GPA based on the category. And then you have to check and you should be applied to the CCMP 2020. And this is another important thing I am going to explain. List of documents to be uploaded for online document verification. Okay, these are all the documents you have to upload. Soft copies. See, first point is proof of date of birth. It may be in the mark sheet, voter ID, PAN card, anything you have to upload. That may be other card also. This is available. And next thing, it is a photo ID proof as per Government of India. Now. That means other card, PAN card, voter ID, anything you can upload. And next thing, 12th mark sheet. Anyway, you can that 12 mark sheet can upload easily also grade marks of all semesters and many people also asking regarding this flex sir i have up to seven semesters mark sheets i don't have eight semester mark sheet do i eligible for the ccmp 2024 yes you are eligible for 2024 counseling and up to whatever the semester mark sheet you are holding up to that you can upload and if the results are announced regarding for example only eight semester results are announced but the mark sheet is not released, then upload that A semester results in that CCMP 2024 web portal. Okay. If any discrepancies are going to arise, they will immediately they will know whatever the thing you have to do. It may be undertaking or any other thing you will have to upload traditionally if any discrepancies are arise. Okay. Next thing I have already explained that is degree provisional certificate. If you don't have, then automatically you have to upload this undertaking or it may be certificate of course completion okay relevant undertaking must be provided on the prescribed format available on the ccm website course completion certificate you have to update there is no doubt regarding that if any undertaking also they have to they are asking then please upload that undertaking undertaking is nothing but just you are understand the terms and conditions and you can obey the terms and conditions that is nothing but the undertaking and you are going to sign on that paper and you are going to upload that soft copy that's it the gate scorecard anyway you are going to hold it and last thing that is certificate of category okay this is also many of the people are asking sir i don't have obc certificate till now i will get uh, in the next month can i eligible for this ccmp 2024 okay the thing is yet they are they didn't mention anything regarding the undertaking in this paragraph you should have EWS or OBC certificate, it must be issued on or after April 1, 2024. Okay. They are asking to upload this OBC or SCST or EWS certificate. And regarding this OBC, NCL or EWS category, it must be issued on April 1, 2024. Please keep this in mind also. Okay. And they didn't mention regarding any undertaking if you are not holding OBC category certificate or EWS category certificate. Anyway, if you are going to participate in the CCMP 2024 web portal, while registering and after that uploading certificate, they will be clearly visible. Whether if you are not holding this OBC certificate, uh, whether you are allowed to upload that undertaking or not. Mostly, the undertaking is not uh, there because it is not given here. Like you have to upload that certificate which is, which is issued after April 1, 2024. So better apply that uh, OBC certificate and please hold now only itself so that you can easily upload in the CCMP 2024 web portal. Here declaration by the candidates in prescribed format available on CCMT website. It may be the declaration form that you are belongs to OBC or AWS category and you have to sign on that and you have to upload in that CCMT web portal. And if any disability person is there, they are going to upload this certificate of disability. These are all the things they will have to Keep in mind. If you have still, if you have any doubts regarding CCMP 2024 counseling, please comment in the comment section. And also, if you want to contact me, then please text me through the Instagram or any LinkedIn profile. Also, I am going to keep that link in the description. Please go through it. And thank you for watching this video. And please subscribe my channel and please share this video to the friends or whatever the people you know they are going to participate in the CCMP 2024. Okay, thank you.